Today we're going to talk about balancing on one foot while keeping movements going around your waist. And credit where credit is due, I learned this technique from um, when I studied with Marilla. Marilla, the amazing hula hooper and roller skater. Um, so, when you have the hoop going around your waist, I'm actually going to go in my non-dominant direction because I need to work on it. Uh, you have choices about how you can keep the hoop going, okay? So you can have one foot slightly in front of the other and do a diagonal motion. I'm thinking about two points. Front, right hip, left back hip, diagonal. Front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back. And I'm pushing equally with both to keep the hoop going, okay? I can also do this side to side. So right, left, right, left. We can also take this directly front and back. So I'm thinking about my belly button pushing in the front. And I'm going to just adjust the camera real quick. So I'm thinking about my belly button pushing in the front and my middle of my back pushing back in the back. And my muscles, my abdominal muscles are pulled in. So what I don't want to have happen is only pushing in front and sort of jumping into the lower back. This hurts. Hurts my back. Okay? So, I'm really thinking about my back body working equally with my front body to keep the hoop going. And that energy is coming directly out the front and directly out the back. Okay? The reason this is important is because when we start to shift on one foot, then we notice that the side-to-side -side motion doesn't work as good because I don't have both feet to push against. So, this small front-back, slight internal circle is going to give you more control whenever you're balancing on one foot. So, let's start with that. So, just get your hoop going. Shift your weight onto one side. You can place the arm here, here, here or here for extra work and challenge, okay? So then once you get your, all your weight onto one side with those toes still touching, we're just gonna flex the foot and lift the toes off and place them back down. Flex and down. And see how many rotations of your hoop that you can get in before you need to put the toe back down, whether you're gonna lose your balance or lose your hoop, okay? So, one, two, down. One, two, down. Let's shift over to the other side and try the same thing. Flex, one, two, down. One, two, down. Yeah. Okay, so once that's starting to feel good, then you want to try to do more rotations. So, shifting over onto the one foot and see if you can just keep it going indefinitely. If that doesn't work, start with three rotations, then four rotations, then five. Okay, so count up to them. So I would go over here and go one, two, three. One, two, three, four. And once it starts to get to where I can hold them a little longer, then we're going to move on to this next exercise, which is actually the one, the one from, from Marowa that um, really helped me a lot. Okay. So, I'm cutting off my head on zoom so you can see my feet and my body. Um, so, I'm going to start with my feet, uh, hip distance apart, start my hoop, either direction, obviously start with your comfortable direction, and if that gets boring, move over to your non-dominant. We're definitely going to have to do both sides, so you'll have to at least attempt. Alright, so then, the next exercise would be to shift the weight all the way onto that one side, and point the toe in front and lift it off. And then we can put it on the floor and trace over to the side. Lift it off with it pointed. Trace to the back. Now, when we go to the back, let's pause for a second and talk about the back position. It is slightly different than the front and the side. So, I know you remember whenever I said you don't want to jump forward with your abdominals to push the hoop going. This is especially challenging with the leg to the back. So what you have to really think about is your inner thighs 
are squeezing together, okay? So I wanna imagine that I have a $100 bill right here between my thighs. And as that leg goes to the back, I'm keeping that $100 bill there. I'm not gonna let it fall, okay? So what that does is it engages, helps me to engage under my bum. And, to, and then in my upper body, I have to lift up very tall. So this, typically the hoop is going to tip forward a little bit. That's okay. We just don't want it to end up going like on an angle. We really don't, we really want to protect our lower back in this position, okay? And feel free, if it's too hard, omit the back for a while and just practice without the hoop, standing and balancing on the one foot. You know, you can even use your hoop for balance. Just stretching that foot to the back and keeping the inner thighs connected and engaged to each other, pulling up in the front. Okay, so we're gonna add the hoop to this. So, to the back. Um, we can do the trace from the side. So taking it to the back, squeezing those inner thighs together. Woo! Good, and back to the side. And down. Okay, so I lifted my toes off here. You are totally welcome while you're getting used to this to keep the towel on the floor and just get used to this position. And then when that feels doable, you can try lifting the toe off and testing that out. Okay? So I'm now going to do this to my other leg and I'm still hooping to my right. All right, so side, lift it off, and back. Woo, it's much harder for me on that side to the back. And side, and dip. Good. One thing that's really important to note is I'm keeping my standing leg, my leg that's not lifted off, I'm keeping it very straight. My muscles are hugging to the bones and pulling, and, and I'm thinking about energy pushing down to the floor and pulling up on that leg. So if you find yourself in like a bent leg position, um, I would not say it's wrong. It's just, um, it's maybe the, the cues that I'm giving might not be as helpful for you if the knee is bent because it's going to change slightly the dynamic. Okay, so. Let's do a sequence with this. And I would like for you now, if you've been hooping to your comfortable direction the whole time, I'd like you to go ahead and switch and at least make some attempts in your opposite direction. And then you can come back to this part of the video and we're gonna do a sequence. We're gonna do it on both sides and both directions. Okay, so how are we doing on time? Oh my God, already eight minutes long, okay. Um, all right, so hooping to your whatever direction, you can start with your comfortable way. We're going to point the leg to the front, hold it, and balance, bring the arms out. If the arms is too much for you, just scale it back. Good, carry to the side, Don't without touching the floor, that's the most advanced version. And carry to the back, squeeze the inner thighs, pull up tall, pushing down through that standing leg. Side. Now we're pointing to the ankle, to a coupe. Passe. All the time. Woo, that's hard. Lower. Close. Good. Other side. Front. This is my harder leg. And back. Squeeze the inner thigh. Squeeze the tush. Under, under the tush. Side. Passe. Woo! Sorry, coupe. Keep that tight abdominal, that tight front and back inner circle. Passe. 
Oxycon. Lower slow. And close. Woo! Okay, now, same thing, other direction. Rewind the video back and do it in your other direction. And your body will thank you. So please join me uh, for my virtual hoop classes. You can find information about them on my website, nataliemcfancy.com slash hoop classes. Um, if you just go to nataliemcfancy.com and go to the um, hoop classes page, you can find all the information about it there. Please join me, I would love to have you.